Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy Bobby Plays here, and I'm back with another FPS boosting slash input delay decreasing tutorial, I guess. So I've been seeing this tutorial all over YouTube for the past like two or three days now, and I actually tried it myself, and it really helps with my FPS. So I, I just decided to make a video on it. So yeah, but before I get into the video, I just want to say this video idea, well, I got it from Orange Guy. If you guys don't know who he is, I'm going to leave uh, his video link in the description, just in case my video doesn't really make that much sense. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the first step. So yeah guys, for the first step, as usual, we're going to start off by clicking Windows key and R. And then this little window will pop up that says run. And then you want to type local app data or percentage local app data and percentage just like the last video. And once you've done that, you want to click OK. And this huge file will come up. And you want to find Fortnite game. Double click on that. Double click on save, config, Windows client. And then once you get to game user settings, you'll want to right click. And then go to properties and untick read only. Once you've done that, click apply and OK. And then you double click into the file. And then you want to scroll down and find SG shading quality. If you don't have that, you can just type it in yourself. Uh, I'm going to copy and paste it and put it in my description so you guys can copy and paste it yourself. So once you're here, you want to change it from a 3 to a 0. And then once you've done that, you can just go to file, save. Close this, go back here, go to properties, tech read only, apply, and click OK. So now you're done the first step. So, yeah, guys, for the second step, what you want to do is go down into the description and then click the link. And once you've done that, you'll get brought into a page that looks exactly like this. And then once you once you're here, you can just scroll down and you'll see these two links. And then you want to click the first link and then it's going to bring you into another page where you have to wait five seconds to get this little download. And once you have it, you want to click open and then go here. And once you are actually, you have to close it. <laughs> once you're here, you, the file you want to open is the NVIDIA inspector.exe. But before you open that, you want to extract all the files to your desktop just like so and then once it's extracted you can actually open the file because if, if the file is not extracted then it won't let you open it so yeah the file is right here and then once you open it you will see like this little pop-up that pops up on, on your screen and then you want to say yes but well, it doesn't show you guys since it just won't let you show that part and then this window will pop up like this and you want to click this thing right beside the driver version and then another big window will pop up on your screen let's just wait for that to pop up and so once it's here you want to go up here and type in fortnite and once you're done you just click enter and it should like find the fortnite file itself and then the first thing you need to change is in sync and refresh. Once you see maximum pre-rendered frames, change that to two. And then the next one is the anti-aliasing transparency super sampling. You want to change that to AA mode replay mode all. And then the last thing you need to change is the texture filtering. Once you're here, the thing about this thing is that the higher you put it, the more frames you will get, but the less like your quality will be. And you guys will understand once I show you the pictures at the end. But yeah, the best one I would recommend is to go with this one since it gives you pretty good frames and the quality doesn't really change much. And then once you're done that, you can just click apply changes. And then it's basically done and also if you guys want to change the settings again you can just open the file again and change the settings so yeah guys now you are done and then i'll show you guys the pictures for the different um settings guys i forgot to add the step but another step you can do is by clicking windows key and r 
this thing will pop up and then you would, would want to type percentage temp percentage and then click OK and then you want to click control A and then delete all of your temporary files since these files are like useless files that your computer doesn't need so once you delete it you can just well in some of them you're gonna have to skip since your computer needs them and then once you're done you can just go to your recycle bin and empty the recycling bin and then now I'll show you guys the difference between the different settings.